Welcome back to my channel. It has been a really long time since I have shared any recipes or even sat down in front of a camera, honestly. And that's because lockdown has been weird. It's been weird for my mental health. It's been weird for my channel. It's been weird for my motivation. But recently I decided that I wanted to create a new ebook and it got me inspired again. And so I've been working really, really hard on that behind the scenes and oh my goodness, I cannot wait for you to get your hands on it because I have not released an ebook or any sort of cooking book sort of thing for three years. You can still buy that ebook, it's an amazing ebook, but I really wanted to make something that would help you guys to cook from scratch at home because a lot of us are, you know, spending a lot more time at home right now. Hopefully that will be out soon, hopefully in the next month or so, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I wanted to share some recipes that I already have that are live on my channel, on my website, and sort of put them into a video that you can get some ideas for lockdown. Because I'm focusing all of my energy on creating the best recipes I've ever created for my ebook. I don't have the mental capacity <laughs> to also create new recipes for my channel as well. So I've got so many good ones that I know that loads of you do not know I have. So let's go straight into it and I'm going to share some ones from the archive that um, I think will be really really great to have right now. So the first recipe is some bread rolls. We're all making bread and I thought I'd share one that's a little bit different from a loaf of bread. My mum has made these every single year for Christmas and she'll often make them in the summer. They're her recipe, I stole it from her and actually I'm working on this ebook with her because she is where I got my, my inspiration to cook from. Um, yeah they're really tasty, really simple as well if you're not much of a bread baker and you're kind of new to it like I am I'm still kind of learning how to bake bread so yeah check it out amount of dough will make either one very large loaf of bread, two medium loaves of bread or 24 rolls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to half it, I'm going to make one normal size like small loaf of bread and then I'm going to make 12 rolls and I'm going to half the rolls so I'm going to do half savoury and half sweet because I'm going to show you how you can add ingredients in there to make them a bit more interesting than just plain rolls but by all means if you want to make plain rolls you can just easily make plain rolls you can add whatever things you want in here uh, you could add some vegan cheese you could add different sorts of vegetables like honestly anything i'm going to be going with some rocket and sun-dried tomatoes with a few sesame and poppy seeds in the savory ones and then in the sweet ones i was thinking of doing some nut butter and banana and maybe Maybe even mixing up some cocoa powder into the nut butter to kind of make my own little quick Nutella because I've just got almond butter at the minute, I don't have any uh, vegan Nutella so I thought I'd kind of show you how you can make that at home if you fancy it but you could just do nut butter and banana or you could do berries, you could do like literally anything. It's just kind of like a fun way of rolling in flavours to make them kind of cute little rolls so yeah.
or if it like explodes, if the ingredients come out, that's gonna happen because you're rollering it. Um, just it'll be fine once you roll it and fold it all over. It's all part of it, so don't worry. It doesn't have to be perfect. See like here, we've got a bit of an explosion in the bum. The second recipe is a variation on one of my most popular recipes, which is my dal, except this one has some sweet potato and spinach and chickpeas in there. Really simple, really comforting, really warming, and a really good one to make in big batches, so you have plenty of leftovers, so you don't have to all the time be cooking. It is so delicious. might be nice is some coconut yogurt on top and also mango chutney that would go really really well but this is a nice alternative because I have two lentil dal recipes in my ebook which are probably my most popular recipes I feel like one of the most popular or maybe the most that you guys share with me and you say that you have on your weekly recipe list your weekly meals so this can be a new one to add as like a different take on the usual lentil dal that you've been eating so adding the chickpeas and sweet potato just makes it that little bit different and it tastes so, so yummy. The next recipe is one from a video I made all about one pot dishes. And this is a really, really, really simple one pot pasta dish that is really tasty. It's kind of like creamier than your usual tomato pasta because it's got a bit of milk in there and it's super simple and very, very comforting. And honestly, anybody can make this meal.
So I made a slight error. I was supposed to bring the liquid to a boil first. I just chucked the pasta on in without thinking. So bring all the liquid to a boil first and then put the pasta in. Again, another one pot recipe is this one pot noodle curry. I think this um, recipe I made in Brighton, so there might be a bit of a flashback here, which would be fun. I love making noodles and curries, and I just thought a one pot version of that will be really helpful because I am finding it tiresome washing up every day, so much washing up constantly so you can limit the amount of dishes you're using and it's just so simple but also so hearty and warming and delicious and noodles and curry are just my two top favorite things The best I have saved till last. Wait, that's not how you say it. I have saved the best till last. I've been sharing this on my Instagram. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, go follow me there because sometimes when I'm quiet on here, I'm always active on Instagram. So I have been sharing that I've been making these cookies constantly during lockdown. Alex and I are completely hooked and I know that lots of you guys are hooked as well because I've been seeing loads of you make these cookies in lockdown because I did share, I did a live on Instagram cooking them with you and I've seen so many of you make them since. They are so ridiculously easy and they are so ridiculously delicious. Be warned, when you make them, they will last you a day probably, maybe two, because they are so yummy. Your, your friends and family, if you're living with your friends and family right now and they aren't vegan, they will not know that these are not vegan. They're delicious. You can use different things in there. Like if you don't have brown sugar, just use normal sugar. I did that the other day. If you don't have coconut oil, give it a go with some vegan butter. I haven't tried it, but I don't see why that wouldn't work. So give it a go. But honestly, gooeyest, most delicious cookies ever. The trick is though, you have to make sure that you don't leave them in the oven too late. I've been seeing a few photographs where they're looking a little bit too cooked. So make sure that you keep an eye on them. I mean, they're still looking a little bit gooey about 10, 12 minutes in, take them out the oven because they will continue to cook outside the oven. Um, I mean, it depends. Some people really love crispy cookies, but I love it when they're gooey and melty and yummy. <laughs> Something about you 
toes to get these cookies right, but finally we got them right and boy, are they good. I've broken this one in half, but oh, I'm excited. Mm. Mm. These are unbelievable. Mm. And the best way to enjoy them is with some milk. Soy milk, of course. Definitely don't eat them when they've just come out of the oven. I was really tempted to do that, but the chocolate stays melted for ages. So I let them cool totally so they kind of like harden up a bit and they have the gooey middle. And also don't be tempted to leave them in the oven for too long because at about 10, 12 minutes, it will look like they're not fully cooked, but that's kind of the point. And when they come out of the oven, they carry on cooking. So they have that lovely gooey texture. So definitely take them out after 10, 12 minutes, well, 10 to, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your oven. Um, and they should be just right. Do you want to try them? Hmm, it's okay. <gasps> oh, that's so good. So good that we finally got it right. Yeah. Because there are a couple where it didn't goo properly. We've realized that recipe testing for baked goods is a lot harder. Yes. Um, takes a lot more practice and a lot more tries. Yeah. But we got there. Yeah. High five! <laughs> <laughs> ah! So there it is. Those are five recipes you can make during lockdown. Let me know if you enjoyed this. I can do more of these recipes, uh, these recipe videos where I like sum up recipes into a category because obviously right now it's a bit weird when it comes to filming, creating. I usually film with my friend Ali in her kitchen because our kitchen is not renovated yet and it's very, very dark and kind of tricky to film in there. Um, and also, like I said, because I'm writing this ebook, I don't have the capacity to also be creating recipes as much for my channel. So if you enjoyed this, um, then I'll definitely do more because it's a nice little flashback to the past and it kind of puts out some recipes that you may have not seen before. So yeah, give me your feedback and I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and, oh wait, I already said that, and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you've been cooking during lockdown and what your go-to recipes have been because we could all do, we could all do with some more ideas. But yeah, bye-bye.